All right, so this deck right here is just a 60 card version of my Rockfall Dummy Golem deck, where if you have, oh, it's called Catapult Zone now, I keep forgetting. Its original name when it first came out was Rockfall Minefield, but now it's Catapult Zone. Whatever, anyways, while this card's out, if a monster you control would be destroyed by battle, you can send a Rock-type monster from your deck to the graveyard instead. And Dummy Golem must survive the battle if you want to use its creature swap effect, uh, which basically allows you to swap control of it with one of your opponent's monsters, but they get to choose which one it is. Uh, which is always a lot of fun because no one ever really expects it. And you also get a free Rock-type monster in the graveyard, and rocks have a lot of good cards that benefit from going to the graveyard.
All right, final thoughts on this deck. Um, the reason I used a whole bunch of level 3 rock-type monsters is because of Gorgonic Guardian. Gorgonic Guardian is a really good XYZ monster who has a spell speed 2 effect of negating a monster effect and reducing their attack to 0. Plus a secondary effect of just destroying a monster on the field who has an attack of 0. So on your turn you can just destroy a monster if you want. During your opponent's turn you can just negate an effect if you want or stop a battle from happening. It's a really good versatile effect. Uh, that being said, I don't think I used it one time in a duel that appears in the video. I used it a few times in duels that I'd lost, uh, but I don't really show those, <laughs> so <laughs> that sucked. Uh, the deck did just fine without it, though. It probably would have been better, I think, if I'd used level 4 rock-type monsters, but off the top of my head, I can't really think of any other really good level 4 rock-type monsters that would have replaced the Magnet Warriors. Maybe, I can't really think of him, besides like Revival Golem, but he's in this deck. Uh, so for this deck, someone had suggested I make a 60 card version of the Demi Golem deck, like during one of my streams a few months ago. And I was like, sure, why not? Rock uh, types benefit from having monsters in the grave. Thanks to Block Dragon and Trimed Pulse. Both of these are really good cards that require you to hold a bunch of monsters in the graveyard. And I saw someone else's deck. Uh, I think it was a deck that like topped an event or something, which was basically a 60 card version of this. Uh, I didn't actually look at it, uh, but I think someone else was using it against me once. And I was like, oh, Giant Rex works really good with Block Dragon. Never would have thought of that. So I made a couple of modifications based on that. And I actually kind of want to look at that top deck to see if mine is similar to it or not. I doubt it. I doubt they would use a level 3 rock type engine. Or dummy golem. They'd probably use like Doki Doki or... Is it called Doki Doki? It's another level... Oh yeah, it's literally called Doki Doki. <laughs> yeah. uh, he's a little bit better, I think. Just because he allows you to mill, I think. What does he do? Discard one rock type monster, special summon from your deck one rock type monster that has the same original attribute and level as that monster in face of attack position or defense position. Yeah, that effect is a little bit better because it allows you to set up your graveyard and search the deck. But I mean, I like Demi Golem. Plus, the field spell cards also work for Pulse. Pulse can banish two rock type monsters and or field spell cards, which kind of works with this deck. Plus. Uh, with Black Dragon and having level 3 monsters, when its effect activates to search out cards, you can add two level 3 monsters plus a level 2. So Dummy Golem plus two of these guys, you go plus three in your hand on his death. Uh, Black Dragon is really good. 